All right, as you can see, I've removed all of the Ultra Coat, and I'm down to the sheeting. Um, the sheeting is cracked through here. Um, it's got some cracks up here and down on the side. Um, I took some time and actually cut this out and used my X-Acto knife, traced underneath, and I pulled this piece out. Now, try to keep everything intact because now I can just trace this piece onto another piece of wood and recreate this piece so it fits right. Okay. Um, so now all I'm going to do is just go through and I'm going to remove all the sheeting. The reason why I'm going to remove the sheeting on this plane is um, the impact was uh, fairly hard. A lot of the formers are broken. Um, I had a little bit of, uh, it did crack the gear. And so the formers up here are also cracked and I want to make sure that everything's intact when I put it back together. Um, sheeting is simple. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to put back on. so. It's worth the effort to rip it off and, and get a good look at everything. So, sheeting is pretty simple. You just find your seams and you get your knife in there and you just start working it. Um, slow and easy is really the, the trick. You don't want to waste a lot of time having to shave your wood later. Um, if you can get it off at the seam, it, it works pretty nicely. And here's a short peek at a lot of work. To watch the rest of this rebuild, click the link in the description below, or for more articles like this, go to rc-air.com.